What's going on everybody? Hope you're having a great day. Today we're going to take a look at creating breakout rooms in Microsoft Teams meeting. So let's take a look at creating breakout rooms within Microsoft Teams meeting platform. Here we are in the Teams platform and I am just in one of my professional development teams for this example and we're going to create our breakout rooms as channels. So a channel is kind of a subcomponent of your entire team. You could use channels for small groups, a reading group, a math group, or in this case we're just going to use them as our breakout rooms. So I have some breakout rooms already established as specific channels. How do you create that channel? We're going to go to the three ellipse next to our, our actual team name and go to add channel. Then we're going to name that channel. So in this case, I'm just going to call this one breakout five because I already have some started. You don't have to worry about description or anything else. Just hit add. So now I've got five breakout rooms or channels set up to use. <clears throat> to start utilizing these within a Teams meeting as a separate actual breakout, what we're going to do is we're going to create and schedule a meeting for each of those breakouts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with breakout five because that just happens to be the one that we just created. I'm clicking on this so I'm now in that breakout and I'm going to go up to schedule a meeting. So there's some front loaded work for the teacher but nothing too bad. So I'm going to call this how to break out and this is going to be room five to set the time and again the time doesn't have to be perfect because you can do this at any point. I'm going to hit send. What send does is essentially just puts it in your calendar. It creates the actual meeting so that we can now have a link to get to. <clears throat> so we have a couple options of how to then take this link. You can go to view the meeting details which now we can get this, or you can go to your calendar and, and find the same thing. On the hyperlink that says join Microsoft Teams meeting, I'm going to right click and go to copy link. Now if you do that in your email calendar, it'll say copy hyperlink, exact same step. So I'm going to copy the link. Now that link allows you to then paste that anywhere you need as a shortcut for your participants to use. What I've found is I, in a Word document, I will create a little mini table with my groups and I'm going to put this link here as an easy way to transition students and participants and I'm going to show you that in a minute. <clears throat> so all I'm going to do here is I'm going to right click, go down to link and the text to display is what you want to call that. So that was breakout five that we started and then on that address I'm just going to hit control V to paste in that link that we copied and hit OK. So now I've got this nice neat little organized chart that I can use to input into the chat of my general meeting. So now the breakout rooms have been created, the meeting links are created, so if I go to my teams and I go to my calendar, you're gonna see that here's breakout that first breakout room link, breakout two, and breakout five. Now I easily could move these all to be the same time so that my class can be organized, but again, the time doesn't necessarily matter as much as getting that scheduled. So now I'm gonna go into my team, and in the general tab, this is where I would start my general meeting, not opening up the breakouts yeah so I would go to meet now or if I already had a scheduled meeting I would be in that meeting already scheduled and once you're in your meeting and joining as you're teaching your participants are in what I recommend or what I've found has been easy is I'm going to go to that word document I'm going to copy control C on a PC that table go back 
into my Teams, and you can get this set up ahead of time as well. I'm gonna to go to the chat or show conversation button. So in the conversation, I'm going to con control V to paste the chart, hit the paper airplane. And now this sends this into the open chat for all participants to be able to click on. So you have the ability to say, all right, Johnny and Susie, you're gonna be in breakout one, and Mary and Tom, you're gonna to be in breakout five. You can break them up and tell your kids ahead of time or in the meeting invite you can actually just put those specific students in there so they're the only ones that can, can access that but i like this feature it's very easy this way any participants just come in they're in the call all they do is click on this and it's going to open up that other call <clears throat> now unlike some other programs in microsoft teams meeting you can be on multiple calls at one time I've been on up to five calls before without any problem at all. Microsoft Teams, what it does is when you go to a separate call, it simply puts you on hold in the call that you're in. So for example, if I wanted to go from this general meeting into that first breakout room, I'm going to click on the link. It's going to open up another call. And you can do this as a teacher ahead of time so that the meeting rooms are already open and then your kids can just jump in and join. The other feature in Microsoft Teams with their latest update is that the meetings actually open up in separate windows. So for example, now you can see that I have two call windows open. So in one, I'm on hold, and that's that first meeting that I was in. You can see the breakout room there. And this is that new breakout room one where I am now currently in. So the other meeting is still happening. I'm just on hold in that meeting. And if I move these to the side, we can see both, both meetings side by side. So I've got, again, on the right hand side is my original meeting that I started. And then on the left hand side is the breakout room that I joined. Now I'm on hold in the first room. If I want to go back to the first room, I'm simply going to go over to that window and hit resume. When I hit resume, my breakout room, I'm now on hold, haven't left the call, didn't hit leave, didn't close it, just jumped back to my original meeting. So for the teacher, you can have all these rooms open and you can bounce between the rooms to kind of see how things are going and check in. The other nice feature about um, the windowed version is again just resume it jumps you right back in if at any point in time you wanted to actually end those breakout rooms you can go to click on leave or if you go in if you actually started the meeting itself you can go into the drop down and click on end meeting and that will end meeting for all the students that are in there now if you end the meeting of a breakout room it will automatically put them back into the main room for you. So that's a very quick concept of how you can set up breakout rooms within Microsoft Teams. It is possible. There's a few steps to set up ahead of time, but it's really doable and again allows you a lot of freedom with synchronous learning to then give your kids some time to work independently or in small groups where you can just bounce in and check on them and, and answer small questions and not have everybody in one massive call at the same time. Hope this gives you a little help on how to set up those breakout rooms. I hope you have a great time setting up those breakout rooms with your students and with your faculty. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you in future videos.